It's October, everyone, and you know what that means. Fallen leaves, Ugg boots, and pumpkin spiced everything. Ooh, boy. It also means Halloween is getting closer. Or maybe it's Halloween right now, as you're watching the video. Maybe it's some other day. The point is, look at the date of the video was uploaded for the proper context, I don't care. It's a great time to sit back and get tense as you play a fun little scary game. But what kind of game should you play? Well, let's just take a look at some examples. The key word when referring to horror games is survival horror, as this is the genre that separates the horror games from the games with horror themes, like Bioshock. Although this game is often referred to as a horror game, this is probably because of the creepy atmosphere, limited ammo while playing on higher difficulties, and unnerving enemies. This game may play like an FPS, but many would argue it fits within the survival horror genre. And that's probably because it does. A better example might be something like Bloodborne, having HP Lovecraftian horror tropes and themes, but still classifying as an action role-playing game. A typical tactic for horror games is to make you feel like you have little to no control in the game by restricting you in some way so that you can't beat the game's objectives easily. It's like having to lug around the little girl in the game Amy, except the scariest thing about that game is how poorly it plays. Take Outlast, for example. In this game, you don't get to fight back against any of the enemies. You just run and hide with your tail between your legs, hoping not to get a surprise knife to the chest by some naked dudes. I often hear from people that try Outlast that they wish they could fight or kill the enemies, but that takes away the whole point of the game. Your inability to fight back is what truly makes you feel helpless and is what drives in the fear. It would be no fun if you could just take out anyone on screen in a game like this, which is why games like Silent Hill work so well, since you can fight but you will do so poorly against the monsters that it's not a favorable decision. The opposite of games like this would be The Last of Us or Dead Space since you get weapons to take down the bad guys, but ammo is limited, and these are games that reward you with skill and good decision making, and punish you for not being cautious. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, goodness! Ooh. Well, see, that's what happens when you walk up on them. In fact, resource management is a huge part of the Resident Evil series, as there is very finite inventory space, forcing you to have to prioritize the things you find. And there is no worse feeling than not having enough bullets to take down some nasty looking enemies. And I'm out of ammo, which is always a blast. Oh, oh, come on now. Why am I being this unlucky? People can also be creeped out by horror games that are treated more like a story than an actual game. Take, for example, Clock Tower, the NES classic, reviewed by the great John Tron. Or games like Until Dawn, or The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. Or your decisions and what the characters do or say determine whether or not someone lives or dies. Just the pressure of decisions like that alone can make one feel uneasy, which makes the scares come even easier. Or, you know, you could just play Five Nights at Freddy's. It employs the easiest tactics to scare you. Jump scares, the cheapest way to get the job done. But hell does it work and it gets you every time. There's just so much freaking quietness in the game that the anticipation of the scare is the scariest thing, and damn it, this is such a shitty way of scaring people, but hey, cheap still works, I guess. At the very least, it's got a deep and confusing lore that's pretty creepy on the face of it. So maybe none of this crap scares you, right? Like, maybe you're just so desensitized that you don't even scare. Well, all I know is that I just want to play the type of games that made you into the tough guy that you are now. I mean, look at you. You don't get scared by jump scares, but I want to be like you, know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching today's episode of Game Flavor. Thanks for the support, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more content, and also stay safe out there, what with these crazy people dressing up like clowns. It's crazy, really. It's almost as bad as when everybody's favorite gorilla got shot to death. These people are tearing this country apart. Seriously though, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope to make more like it, so please tune in, subscribe, like and share, leave a comment, tell me what you liked, what you hated, or maybe just say hi. I don't care, just do it. Mmm, delicious. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech.